Hey, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's having a great day. So today, guys, we got the Dell XPS 157590 OLED screen. This is non-touch. And then on the left, we have the Inspiron 157591-7000 series. Two-in-one touch. Um, 4K, obviously, both of them. But today, guys, we're going to do another comparison video on the backlighting on screen bleeding. Now these things drive me nuts. They drive me loco. Every IPS screen I bought in the past has had screen bleeding. It doesn't matter if it's HP, Dell, it bleeds on the screen. In case you didn't know, screen bleeding is the backlight bleeding where the light kind of like comes through on the corners, um, at the round edges of the corners. Um, you know, and obviously, you know, it's an issue, it's a problem. Now the OLED screens are supposed to have zero backlighting because obviously they're different. At the same time, you're gonna get deeper blacks, which also make for better contrast. You know, higher, whiter, brighter screen, juicier colors. Um, so the OLED is claimed to have zero. The WVA is actually a little better than the IPS they're saying. So we're gonna put it to the test, guys. Every time I got a laptop, I actually do a screen bleed test because if you're watching movies, you don't want the corners bleeding through. If you have the, uh, you know, the letterbox with the black on the top and the bottom and you're viewing it in the middle, then you're gonna have the light coming through. Even for photo editing, guys, it's probably gonna mess up your photos because it's not gonna be accurate. You want the blacks to be black. So how do we do a screen bleed test? First, let's turn out the lights, guys, so we get the most accurate and you always need to turn off the lights when you're doing a test. So we're just gonna go on YouTube, guys. And uh, obviously, you guys know my channel here, Damien Coletti Cinema. Subscribe if you haven't already. So what are we gonna type in, guys? We're gonna type in screen bleed test, okay? So let's go, screen bleeding test. You guys can see that. And there's always videos here, guys, where you can just test it very easy and you're gonna check the corners. Actually, guys, first, you wanna place your bets, guys. We got the two laptops. What do you think? Is the OLED gonna have zero bleeding? Or is it gonna have some? Or is the uh, WVA gonna have bleeding? Is it gonna be better than OLED? What is your prediction, guys? If you wanna pause the video, place your bets. Let's see what's going on here. So here we go. And we're gonna make this full size and we're checking for mostly the corners, guys. This is the screen, all right? We're getting some, um, that screen's messing up this, but this is the screen. We're looking at the corners actually, guys. There is zero screen bleeding that I can see. All right, guys, that is superb. And are we watching that YouTube video for screen bleed? Yes, we still are. The corners have no bleeding whatsoever. Excellente, my brothers and sisters. That's what I wanna see. All right, guys, so we'll back out of that. All right. And we'll put that screen down. So now we're gonna go over here to the WVA screen. Is it better than the IPS? Is it as good as the OLED? Let's see. So I already had this open on YouTube, guys. It's exact same search, screen bleeding test, right? So let's click on that. And we're gonna blow it up. And as you can see, guys, off the bat, this is already looking funky. Um, but it's also because the blacks aren't true to black. Now, the screen isn't this bad. Trust me, it's not this bad. Um, let me move the IPX over so we can get the proper lighting too a little better. So, but we're looking at the corners, guys. You can see these corners are definitely whiter. Um, there is some leaking here. If we go back a little bit, I think we can get a more accurate picture. You can see the top left corner and the top right corner, there is definite bleeding through the screen. Um, you know, that's just ridiculous. Um, we're going closer, closer, we see. You know, there's some on the bottom corner, bottom left a little bit. Um, but you can see where it's very white and bright. That is bleeding, guys. Um, and that is, you know, this is the first WVA screen I've ever seen. Um, and I was hoping it would be better, or at least in the middle between an IPS and no LED. And it is not. Um, so that's disappointing, guys, to be honest with you. Um, and again, going back to the OLED, you know, it doesn't have any problem. 
Um, so you guys might not even notice things like this on laptops, but let me show you. Like if you look at the screen here, this is just a desktop Blade Runner, you've seen it. You're not gonna notice any screen bleeding. This laptop is gonna look fine, right? But it's when you actually have a full black screen um, where you're actually gonna notice things like that. Um, so you really wanna test that out, guys, because you're gonna watch videos, you're gonna watch movies, you're gonna be, you know, blackened scenes, they're gonna be dark scenes. If you're watching horror movies like Dracula, maybe there's a lot of black and scary stuff. You don't want the bleeding coming through. You wanna see Dracula when he actually is supposed to come out. Um, you don't wanna see the white and be like, is Dracula coming? And you're like, no, it's a bad screen, that's why. Um, but again, the OLED laptops, guys, are so much more expensive, um, you gotta understand, compared to the IPS and WVA. So for the price range, obviously, you know, you do what you can. You get an IPS, you get a WVA, and some might be better than others. Maybe if you get one that's awful, you know, you gotta return it, um, you know, and try and get another one. But I'm also curious if you guys have had any IPS or WVA screens where there's zero backlight bleeding issues, because I haven't seen it yet. I'm curious, let me know in the comments section below. Um, and also any comments or questions, guys, let me know. I've been studying laptops a lot recently and screen bleeding and just going uh, crazy with all the knowledge I've gained. Um, and I will put links in the descriptions below, guys, where you can purchase either of these laptops. I do uh, appreciate if you use my Amazon links since I'm an affiliate. All right, guys, I think that's it. Signing off and see you later. Alligators.